There was no greater or more fun surprise on TV last year than The Good Place, NBC's bizarre sitcom about a sour woman, Kristen Bell, who died and found herself having to fake her way through heaven without getting caught for the rampant sinner she truly was. The 13-episode first season blazed through plot points like wildfire, though its seemingly random story trajectory eventually proved to be anything but. Under the guidance of creator Mike Schur, Parks and Recreation, The Good Place boasted sharp jokes and performances from Belle as Eleanor Shellstrop, the sinful interloper, Ted Danson as her earnest guide and heavenly city planner, William Jackson Harper as her stressed soulmate Chidi, and more. The show delighted in its own chaos and frequently turned itself inside out. By the time the first season was over, it had blown out the show's original premise entirely. So before the first two episodes of season and two aired back to back on September 20th, the inevitable question about The Good Place was, where the hell does, or can, the series go from here? First things first, The Good Place's double-header season two premiere proves within minutes that the show is still great. At the end of season one, Eleanor figured out that as the creator of her neighborhood in the titular heaven analog The Good Place, Michael, Danson, wasn't trying to make everyone comfortable in eternal paradise. Instead, he was trying to make them miserable in a specific type of hell, where they would all psychologically torture each other and not even realize they were doing it. And as season two begins, Michael has reset his test subject's memories to try his experiment all over again, sending Eleanor, Chidi, Tahani, Jamila Jamal, and Jason, many Jacinto, into new loops that he's confident will torture them without giving away his nefarious plan.